So here we see a file that I downloaded from the Open Data uh, Glasgow website. It's a file with uh, house prices uh, for houses in Glasgow that were sold in 2012. And over here, you can see it contains uh, street names, you can see uh, house numbers, um, postcodes, and you can see the price in here. But there are no there are no coordinates in here, so we can't directly plot up this data in a GIS. To plot it in a GIS, we need to convert the, the street addresses into coordinates as a process called geocoding. And GOS software often supports geocoding, but it requires an external server and often that requires a, a commercial license. For example, in ArcGIS, you require a subscription to ArcGIS online to do, um, be able to do this. Um, but there's a free way of doing it as well using Google Maps. And all we need to, to do this in Google Maps is really just a CSV file. In this case, the file is already as a CSV. As, as, it's already a CSV file, so comma separated values. And if your file is in another format, you can just go to Excel and use File, Save As, and save your data as a CSV file. In this case, just I'll just close uh, the file because it's already a CSV file. And I'll just go to Google Maps. And in Google Maps, uh, you need to be signed in to your uh, Google account for this to work. Uh, but then you can go here and go to uh, your places in the menu. And then we can go straight to maps. And then we can do create map. And when we do that, uh, we get a new map. And we have the ability to import data. And in this case, we can import uh, lists of addresses in here as a CSV format or pretty also Excel, KML or GPX. So I'm just going to uh, drag the file with the house prices and the street name, street addresses in here. And it will go to the Google servers. And now we need to indicate the columns that have uh, the address in it. So we need the street name, we need the postcode, and uh, this one had the house number in it. So this we should have everything we need. So let's just continue. And now the column for the header, let's just use the post, uh, let's use the price, actual price po that point of sale sounds good. So let's finish. And now go uh, Google's uh, software is analyzing the file and trying to convert all the uh, uh, addresses to coordinates and make points out of this and plot them on the map. Alright, so it's finished and it's found most of the places in the UK and it's accidentally placed a few of them in um, in North America. So one possible fix would uh, be to add an extra column to our data set and clearly uh, write United Kingdom as the country in there in our input data. But for the other data we see that it's uh, actually it has placed everything in Glasgow and we can check check a few things. Let's zoom in uh, here in Partick. Uh, so these places, has, has in these places in Dumbarton Road? Yeah, so they are Dumbarton Road. And this house was sold for uh, price constant. So £84,000. So, so now we have our data uh, placed correctly in Google Maps. And you can share this file, for example, here. Uh, you can share it with uh, uh, with other people. Uh, share it as a link. Share it as a, as a Google Maps file. Um, but it, we can also download the data by going here and do export to KML or KMZ. And if you do that, it will export your data to KML file. And a KML file is a very standard GIS format. It's, uh, originally belonging to Google Earth, but um, most GIS software can read KML files, including ArcGIS and QGIS. So if we do that, we can download this file and we'll be able to uh, use this data in other GIS software. Now we've geocoded our data. Uh, we can see that, there, that some of the data has not been uh, 
uh, been been geocoded properly so there's been a problem so we can see what the data is by clicking open table and there's a number of addresses and it seems to be yeah it seems that these addresses have been shortened so Brody Dr it's probably Brody Drive so we could go back to our data set in Excel and just to search replace and do change all Brody Dr to Brody Drive and maybe remove things like the sidings um, same here, keepers. This this will probably work better if you change this to Broomhouse Crescents. Um, but that's clearly just an error in the input data, and, and any other geocoding service will probably struggle with this as well. So, um, but we can probably fix this fairly quickly by going back to Excel and just using search and replace to uh, so, to change the uh, problems.